you're dealing with a, a kind of three prongs here. One is what they now call antisocial personality. And, and I, I'm just, in, instead of giving you the definition, I'm just going to show you the traits. These people have a pattern of violating the rights of others. They violate social norms. They're deceitful, manipulative, impulsive, irritable, and aggressive. They're reckless with, with, and have a disregard for safety of themselves and others. They're irresponsible, and they have a complete lack of remorse. Yep. Now, does this look like a verbal picture of who you were Ab married to? Absolutely, yes. So this is who they are. Let's go to the next one, which is this is really the reason that you don't want to go talk to him and the reason that it's not going to help you to go talk to him, depending on how you manage your expectations. Grandiose sense of self-importance and entitlement. Narcissistic personalities... They look at things only from their point of view. He will maintain his innocence until they carry him out in a box because he's preoccupied with fantasies and will convince himself that he is a victim here. He has a belief of being special and unique. And when you saw him, he is exploitive and arrogant. He is arrogant. This is someone that took a young woman's life after lying to her, consciously lying to her for seven years, he manipulated you, deceived you and her for seven years. And he sits there arrogant like, my position has not been put forth here. He lacks empathy. And he is envious of others or believes others are envious of him because he is so magnanimous and so special. And you say, well, why not just get a divorce? You know, remember Chris Watts? He murdered Shannon, yeah. Cece, Bella, and she was pregnant with yes. Nico mm -hmm. and did horrible things, took those precious two little children and stuffed them in an oil yeah. tank, had to break their collarbones to get them mm -hmm. through the hole. And everybody asked, why didn't he just get a divorce? Mm -hmm. Why kill everyone? Because he's so special. He wanted to just snap his fingers and hit the reset button and start all over because they only see things from their point of view. And it boils down to this combination of characteristics called the dark triad. And this is where they go that no one else does. It's that psychopathy, narcissism, and Machiavellianism. This is that evil. If this lurks within them, you will never get satisfaction. And until you can manage your expectations to the point that you don't need something from him, you shouldn't go see him. You should only go when you need to say something and it doesn't matter what the response is. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Emma, talk to me. Yeah. I don't think I'll go and see him. Now, I mean, every time I've thought about going to see him, I never know what I'm going to say. I have nothing in mind that I would say to him at all. You might write him a letter. You might mail it, you might not. Right. He has no empathy, he has no remorse, he has no ability to see things through your eyes. And I promise you, Tim, if he got out, he would do it again. He would do it again. I have no doubt. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.